a lot of third world countries had better facilities than we did. Can you believe that? In 2008, you had third world countries that had better facilities than we had in Washington, D.C. That was crazy. The hospital was in dire straits. Supplies and equipment were scarce. We had extreme difficulty even in basic needs. It was um, close to being catastrophic. And no one cared. No one cared because it was east of the river. While others were indifferent to the plight of this hospital, it was just not possible for me to be indifferent. He actually came to the hospital. I remember his exact words, and it's been over seven years. I will not let this continue, he said. Every patient over here, I don't care what color they are, I don't care what religion they are, I don't care who they vote for, everyone deserves the right to have adequate medical care. He picked up a lot of trouble because of it, because a lot of people simply didn't want it to happen. And not people out here, but people downtown, the government did not want this place to survive, and David didn't care about that. I was at his health committee meetings when he pounded on his desk and wanted to know why was it like this in Southeast. I'm really a proud of the city's investment because it has brought much needed equipment and services to the residents east of the Anacostia River. Low dose mammography equipment, the improved dialysis equipment, the first MRI east of the Anacostia River. Most importantly for me, we added a children's pediatric emergency room. If people want to see their investment, they simply need to go to Southern Avenue and see for themselves. The hundred million dollars is right there. We are the number one employer in our community. I can't understand how we thought that by closing this hospital, we were benefiting the citizens. He was relentless, he was untiring. He would not let anyone stand between us and care of the patients. Without a doubt, this hospital would have been closed were it not for David Catania.